From animals that glow in the dark to snakes without scales, here are 10 terrifying animals we've bred into existence. 10. Cartoon-Faced Horse We all love cute animals with enormous eyes, and who doesn't want to ride a horse straight out of a Disney movie? Cartoon-faced horses are deliberately bred to have concave nasal bridges, and this practice has surprisingly become increasingly popular in recent years. This is much to the horror of experts, who claim the creature's misshapen snouts can cause serious breathing problems. Like pugs! Those poor dogs can barely breathe, but we still breed them because they're cute. The trend made international headlines in 2017 when an Arabian show horse named El Rey Magnum's value was estimated at millions of dollars. Born to parents with similarly caved-in faces, El Rey Magnum's pricey pedigree has been described by experts as a horrific example of extreme breeding. But there is a huge increase in demand for horses like this. People want them. What do you think of this horse? Let me know in the comments below. The peculiar trait is especially dangerous because, unlike humans and dogs, horses cannot breathe through their mouths, according to equine expert Tim Greet, who spoke with the Daily Mail. He says that exercise would probably be very limited for this horse. It might have an asthma attack. Dating back 3,000 years, Arabian horse pedigree standards dictate having a concave face and El Rey Magnum's owners defended their decision to deliberately mate his parents who display this trait. In a written criticism condemning the practice, horse reproduction expert Jonathan Pycock stated that the problem comes when you breed for particular looks and when those looks are detrimental to the horse's health. In my book, that is fundamentally wrong. But is it really that bad? Some experts disagree, including Colorado State University's Musculoskeletal Research Program Director, Wayne McElwraith, who claimed that there's no evidence indicating that horses with concave faces are at higher risk of breathing problems. But the cartoon-faced characteristic is controversial, to say the very least. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. Silk Spinning Goats The future is here, people! Goats are now spinning spider webs. What? In 2010, researchers from the University of Wyoming announced that they had successfully implemented spiders' silk spinning genes into goat DNA. Out of a litter of seven goat kids, three were born with this man made genetic trait, which caused them to produce milk infused with silk protein. The experiment was carried out in an attempt to figure out how to produce enough spider silk fiber for use in things like artificial ligaments and tendons, jaw repair, eye sutures, and other medical supplies, as well as car airbags and bulletproof vests. Spider silk is highly valued for its strength and elasticity, but scientists found that it was virtually impossible to harvest great quantities of the material. They had tried spider farms, which failed because spiders are highly territorial and tend to kill each other when confined to a shared space. Then, the idea of transgenic goats came along and was an apparent success, as the three kids who tested positive for the silk protein gene did not appear to have any health, behavioural or appearance differences compared to goats without the gene. Three years later, two of the goats born with the trait, sugar and spice, were removed from display at the Canada Agriculture Museum in Ottawa due to public pressure over the ethical implications of creating genetically modified animals do you think it's wrong or is it okay? Research into the usefulness of the animals continued and as recently as 2019, a team led by one of the initial researchers at Utah State University oversaw around 20 goats capable of producing silk-infused milk. Would you wear a jacket made from spider goat silk? Let me know in the comments below. Number 8. Dong Tao Chicken Originating from the Vietnamese village of Dong Tao in the Khoai Chau district near Hanoi, the Dong Tao chicken, also called dragon chicken, was once bred exclusively for royalty and bureaucrats. Historically speaking, this prized rare breed is an integral part of many Vietnamese festivals, including the Tet Lunar New Year. Dong Tao chickens often grow wider than a human, they also have freakishly massive, scaly, dragon-like legs that are considered a delicacy. 
and are served in expensive restaurants that cater to the wealthy, they don't call it dragon chicken for nothing. Their meat is said to sell for as much as 350,000 to 400,000 Vietnamese dong, 15 to 17 dollars USD per kilogram, and the birds themselves cost around 2,500 USD per pair. Having such disproportionately overgrown legs makes breeding quite difficult, as the weight of the mother's legs can break her eggs when she sits on them. For this reason, eggs are often kept in an incubator. Hatching is challenging as well because these birds tend to lay less eggs than other chickens and are very sensitive to temperature changes. Male Dongtao chickens, whose legs can grow as thick as a human wrist, reach up to 13 pounds or 6 kilos by adulthood. It takes anywhere from 18 months to 5 years for chickens to reach 11 to 13 pounds or 5 to 6 kilos, which is considered an appropriate weight for slaughter. The largest pair of Dongtao chicken legs on record weigh 2.2 pounds or 1 kilo each. What do you think of these chickens that look like they never skip leg day? Let me know in the comments below and if you're liking the video, hit that thumbs up and be sure to subscribe for more animal videos. Number 7. Glow-in-the-dark animals Remember when glowfish was super popular? They are still around today. You might even have some in your aquarium. Well, since then, scientists have been busy making all kinds of glow-in-the-dark creatures. Scientists in Taiwan created the first glow-in-the-dark animals in 2008 when they bred three pigs with glowing skin, eyes, teeth and organs. To achieve these results, the team inserted fluorescent jellyfish DNA into over 260 pig embryos and implanted the embryos into eight sows, four of which became pregnant. Three male piglets were born with the luminescent trait. By day, their snouts had a greenish tint. After being introduced to a blue light, they glowed green in the dark. In 2009, Japanese scientists successfully passed the same jellyfish DNA-infused trait onto second-generation marmosets. The same year, red fluorescent genes from sea anemones caused five dogs to glow reddish-orange under an ultraviolet light, and they even gave birth to fluorescent puppies. Researchers have also created fluorescent cats, fish, mice, and more. Although genetically modifying animals to glow in the dark sounds cool, Doing so might sound pointless too, but it's not. In fact, this has been done for multiple reasons. In one 2011 study, scientists inserted a feline immunodeficiency virus, FIV, resistant gene into cats and tracked its development by inserting a fluorescent green protein into the genes. By studying glowing dogs and monkeys, researchers hope to better understand how debilitating hereditary conditions in humans like Parkinson's and motor neuron disease are passed on. And fluorescent fish helped one team track harmful chemicals from industrial pollution and learn about how they move throughout the body and impact health. Number 6. The Budapest Pigeon The Budapest Pigeon was developed in Hungary in the early 20th century with selective breeding by a pair known as the Poltel brothers, who deliberately mated the birds to exaggerate certain features resulting in a creature with massive, protruding eyes that give it a somewhat alien-like appearance. The Poltel brothers' aim was not necessarily for the Budapest pigeon to acquire its trademark bug-eyed look, but to improve the bird's efficiency in high-endurance flying races. To achieve the desired result, they crossbred numerous types of pigeons, including Vienna MF tumblers, sieged in tumblers, and the Danzig high flyer. Their plan worked, and they created a new breed that can stay aloft for up to five hours at a time and which has the conspicuous bulged eyes it's known for today. Besides having a face that takes some getting used to, to put it politely, Budapest pigeons tend to be erratic and restless and they are known to occasionally disappear on their owners. Because the breed is not designed to survive in the wild, a flyaway Budapest pigeon can put themselves in real danger. On the upside, at least the missing bird would be easy to recognize. Number 5. Damascus Goat In recent years, shocking footage and images of a deformed-looking monstrosity known as the Damascus Goat have circulated online, causing many to wonder if such an animal really exists. 
Well, it does. And the pictures and video making the rounds on social media shows an example of the occasional disturbing consequences of extreme breeding. Also called the Aleppo, Halep, Baladi, Damascene, Shami or Shami, these taller than usual goats are characterized by their uncharacteristically blunt snout and raised nasal bridge. They are prized for their milk, meat, hides and their bizarre appearance. Damascus goats are pretty normal looking, perhaps even cute when they're young. But as they grow up, their faces begin to look like they ran into a door, as Newsweek put it. When the Damascus goat gained popularity as an exotic pet, breeders deliberately mated them to exaggerate their unique features, which are more subtle among traditional livestock populations, according to IFL Science. Consequently, the animals became even stranger looking, and these arguably disturbing changes redefine beauty standards in a way that can be summed up as the weirder, the better. A so-called ideal Damascus goat snout is shortened to the point where their face is nearly square, and the creature that went viral is probably the product of generations of specimens with markedly dramatic features, Newsweek reported. They are prized among their region's culture, with the so-called finest goats selling for as much as $67,000 each. Number 4. Scaleless Snakes First discovered in 1942, snakes with this unique genetic mutation tend to have smooth skin and brighter colours, making these unique reptiles a sought-after pet. Scalelessness is a recessive trait passed down through many snake species. The trait reduces the amount of keratin that creates scales, resulting in a specimen missing anywhere from a few to nearly all their scales. Although most snakes who retain this trait have their ventral scales, which line the belly, they still shed, just like normal snakes. And even though scales retain moisture, scaleless snakes do not suffer from dehydration. One possible disadvantage they may have is vulnerability to enemies from a lack of body armor, which is why captive breeders advise against feeding live prey to a scaleless snake. But expert examination of wild-caught specimens yielded no evidence of more scarring than scaled snakes. Number 3. Bubble-Eyed Goldfish Found only in captivity, the bubble-eyed goldfish is an ornamental species that researchers believe was first developed in China through the crossbreeding of other species, including the celestial eye goldfish. Its most obvious feature is a pair of delicate, fluid-filled sacs protruding from beneath the eyes, the bubble-eyed goldfish also has no dorsal fin. While these features make the fish desirable to aquarium enthusiasts, the sought-after species' unique look comes with numerous disadvantages. For one, the sacs bob around, making the bubble-eyed goldfish a weaker swimmer than other varieties. The bubbles are also delicate, limiting the selection of other fish that the bubble-eye can safely share an aquarium with. Although the sacs regrow if punctured, Injuries can be very painful and put the fish at a heightened risk of infection and damage to the eye tissues. The UK-based Universities Federation for Animal Welfare argues that the bubble eye fish face severe lifelong vision and behavioural consequences from their deformity and that the best solution is to combat the perpetuation of these problems by not breeding or buying specimens who display the trait. Number 2. Dwarf Horses Dwarf horses result from breeders deliberately passing on the equine dwarfism gene, which, on its surface, simply sounds like a condition that makes the animal uncharacteristically small. But there are two different types of this condition, proportional dwarfism, which creates genuinely healthy, miniature animals through selective breeding, including horses. Then there's disproportional dwarfism, which is what it sounds like and can cause severe health issues. Horses with disproportional dwarfism have short, stocky skeletons due to genetic mutations, but their organs develop normally inside of a body that is too small and require the same amount of nutrition as a normal-sized horse. Owners often misunderstand a dwarf horse's nutritional needs and underfeed them, or the animal's organs outgrow its frame. This is painful and it worsens as the affected horse ages. Crystal Les de la Serre explained in an article for The Horse, adding that the condition also disrupts proper organ function. 
Disproportional dwarfism also causes a horse's skeletal system to become deformed and twisted, especially in the jaw, which often becomes misaligned from growing abnormally and tends to lock, requiring extensive dental care. They often get an underbite and the front teeth don't wear anymore and just keep growing. Then the molars get out of alignment and they develop hooks. They literally can't grind or chew. Horse expert John Eberth explained in an interview with Les de la Serre. Dwarf horses face a host of other issues, including misshapen vertebra that form a humped back and a higher likelihood of suffering from respiratory diseases and cardiac problems. A disproportionate dwarf gene could potentially create an entire herd of affected horses. According to Eberth, who said that when it comes to this breeding nightmare, the goal is to remove the mutated gene from the program entirely. Number 1. Aqua Advantage Salmon In 1989, Aqua Bounty Technologies developed the Aqua Advantage Salmon. It is a genetically modified Atlantic salmon that was developed by replacing the species' growth hormone regulating gene with that of the Pacific Chinook salmon, along with a promoter sequence of DNA from the ocean pout eel. As a result of this biological meddling, AccuAdvantage salmon grow year-round rather than only in the spring and summer, cutting the time it takes them to reach market size down from three years to just 16 to 18 months. They were the first genetically engineered animals that were approved for human consumption in Canada and the US, a decision that proved highly controversial based on the suspicion that there could be unintended hazards or consequences associated with the genetic altering of the fish, or that the practice makes the fish unnatural. The Food and Drug Administration, or FDA, contends that eating AccuAdvantage salmon is perfectly safe for anyone who is not allergic to regular salmon, and that numerous assessments have determined that the modification process does not affect the fish's DNA in any off-target ways. People also worried that non-sterile AccuAdvantage salmon might escape into the wild and interbreed with the wild population. Authorities and producers responded to this concern by implementing preventative measures to stop this from happening. To counter ethics-based arguments against AccuAdvantage salmon, proponents of the genetically modified fish claimed that developing a faster-growing version of the fish helped to ensure an adequate food supply as the growing human population causes nutrition demands to skyrocket. Would you eat AccuAdvantage salmon? You may have already. What do you think about these animals made by science? Let me know in the comments below and thanks for watching. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and see you in the next video.